And these are so good. You want another Wagyu snack, Wagyu? What do you know? Of course I do. Throw it over here. Ow. Nom, 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 nom. Oh man, I love Wagyu snacks. Much better than that Scooby-Doo snack. Like, tell me about it. You should be on a box instead of a dog. Yeah, totally. Man, I'm so glad we're on vacation. No more solving mysteries. The phone hasn't been ringing off the hook. We can finally relax and just snack and take a tour around town. I'm so glad to be back home in Orlando. Yeah, you know, I love the road because we get to stop at all those cool new food places we love and try everything out, but nothing beats home. Wait a minute. Hold on. What is it? Getting a text. Please don't be a customer. Please don't be a customer. Oh, man. It is, Woggy. It's another customer. We gotta go check it out. We have a mystery to solve. Ah, crap. Can we at least stop for pizza on the way? Are you sure we got the right address? Of course I'm sure, Waggy. It's gotta be the place. We GPSed it, right? Yeah, but those things are always wrong. Remember the last time we used it, we tried to get to Taco Bell, and we ended up in Mexico? <laughs> oh, right, I remember that. Hey, we still got our tacos, right? We sure did. And we got diarrhea from drinking the water. Oh yeah, I'll never forget good old Mexico. Hello, I am Adam from Poland. Come on in, Dylan and Wagi. I've been expecting you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First things first, Adam. We gotta check your refrigerator. Make sure nothing's haunted in there. And it wouldn't hurt to see if you have anything to eat. Like, good point, Wagi. Let's check it out. Wagi, are you okay? What is the matter? You see something in there? No, and that's exactly what I'm screaming for. This is the scariest fridge I've ever seen. You don't have anything in here. No pizza, no tacos, no cake. All I see is like a couple packages of sausages. Uh, yes, yes. I have a lot of hot Polish sausage in there. That is what I do for a living. I am a sausage salesman. Um, it's hot. It's juicy. It's delicious. You want it? You like it? Maybe later, Adam. Now, tell us, why are we here again? Tell us more about this creepy clown. Ah, uh, yes, right. Okay, so I called you here because uh, recently uh, I've been hearing strange, funny noises in the night. Uh, waking me up in the middle of the night. Uh, like creepy laughs and uh, heavy breathing. And uh, no, it's not my neighbors next door uh, because they recently moved out. Uh, so, uh, I don't know what it could be. I, I get up the middle of the night, the other night. I'm looking around. I see nothing. Uh, so, I decide to go in uh, the garage. Uh, and when I go into the garage, I'm looking and I see in the corner a creepy, creepy clown. Uh, and he was giggling and laughing hysterically, uh, very creepily. And it scared me so much. And uh, I don't know that there's any carnivals in town, so I don't think he's lost. Uh, and I'm very frightened. So I was wondering uh, if you could maybe go check it out and uh, find and capture this clown uh, so I can rest in peace. I don't mean die, rest in peace. You know, I mean like sleep, sleep easy. Yes. Whoa, did you say creepy clown? No way, I'm not going there and checking out a creepy clown. Unless, wait, did, did he have any cotton candy by any chance? Waggy, what are you doing? Oh, I found some peanut butter and bread, so I'm just going to make some peanut butter sandwiches. Anyone else want one? Going once? Going twice? Anyway, Adam, we'll take a look. Moggy's scared of everything, but clowns, they don't scare me. We'll check it out. Oh, Shaggy, Scooby, thank you so much for helping me. I really appreciate it. Um, Adam, we're Dylan and Woggy. Shaggy and Scooby's like some fictional TV show. We're real. 
Ah, uh, yes, of course, excuse me. Uh, this is my new favorite American TV show, uh, Scooby-Doo. I uh, hear it's brand new. Uh, I love it. They, they, they go around in this van solving mysteries, eating pizza and something called Scooby Snacks. So I'm sorry, it's fresh on my brain. Uh, I realize you, Dylan Waggy, you are something entirely different and uh, not copying them at all. Hey, why do I have to go first? Um, you're the oldest. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Hey, wait a minute. Just go. All right. See anything? Hang on. Oh, my head's stuck. Well, Waggy, is the coast clear? Hang on, let me look. Well, I don't see any creepy clowns. But Adam, you really should hire like a cleaning lady. This place is a mess. There's junk everywhere. And I don't see any candy or, or anything to eat. You're right, Woggy. There's nothing here but a big mess. I don't see any creepy clowns anywhere. Oh, thank God. Clowns are only good, like I said, if they have cotton candy or uh, popcorn or... Can we go to the carnival later? Not now. There's no carnival in town. Oh, I'm nuts. Yeah, so I'm not seeing anything, and I am... Oh! I'm okay. I just thought I saw a cockroach, and I got scared, and then I tripped. Well, Adam, I don't know what to tell you. There's no sign of that creepy clown. But what we did notice is that uh, there's nothing in your stove right now cooking. Yeah, and we're really hungry. If we're going to wait out this ghost, we're going to need to eat. He's got a point, Adam. Ah, uh, yes, of course. What was I thinking? My manners. Uh, sorry, sometimes I get so carried away. I've been so stressed out with this clown, and recently my sausage business is uh, on the verge of uh, going bankrupt. Uh, I will make you some hot Polish sausage. Why don't you sit, watch some TV? Uh, we will eat, and uh, we will wait for the creepy clown to come. Yes? Okay. Oh, man. That was the best sausage I ever had. I'm so full, I barely have room for five more desserts. What about you, Dylan? Oh, man, yeah. I'm so full. I could just pass out right now. Uh, guys, I don't want to be rude or anything, but uh, what about the creepy clown? You still going to help me? Uh, yes? No? Oh, right. The clown. Totally forgot. Yeah, me too. When I'm eating, I don't think about anything but eating. And then eating some more. Alright, Adam, I tell you what, it's getting late. We'll stay here and wait and keep an eye out in the garage. You go to sleep. If we find something, we'll wake you up. Don't worry, it's gonna be all right. We'll just watch some TV and chill and maybe eat some of your snacks. You got that right. Good night, Adam. All right, I will try to get some rest. Good night, uh, Dylan and Waggy. Uh, I hope good news soon. <coughs> Pizza. Waggy, wake up. Five more minutes, Mommy. Waggy, I heard a noise coming from the garage. A noise? What kind of noise? Did it sound like the pizza delivery guy? Come on, let's go check it out. Don't wake up Adam or the dead. Man, it sure is dark in this house. You're telling me? Why don't we open the refrigerator? The light will shine the way. Let me get the light switch. It's a little better. Oh, this is freaking me out. Do we have to go in there? It's our job, Boggy. Alright, but you owe me. Oh my god, what's that? Hit your flashlight. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so scared. There is an actual creepy clown. Anyone out there who sees this video, please call 911 or 1-800-352. 7545, five. that's the pizza guy. Please, hurry up. No! Oh! Waggy, run.
Go get Adam. I'll try to stop him. Boggy, Adam, come here. I got him. Good thing he's all tied up. Hey, he doesn't feel like a ghost. He's real. Check this out, guys. Now let's find out who's really behind the mask. Whoa, Captain Fuzzy Bottom was the creepy clown? What the heck did he just say? Oh, he said, yeah, and I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. You speak bear? I didn't know that. There's a lot of things you don't know about me. Like what? Like I have an extra toe on my left foot? Seriously? Anyway, Adam, we caught the culprit. You won't have any problems with creepy clowns anymore. Yeah, but there is a problem that we didn't solve. What's that, Waggy? We need to go get some cotton candy now and some popcorn. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan and Waggy, for solving my problem with this creepy clown. Who knew it would be little bear, little stuffed bear who doesn't talk and make any sense? <laughs> Ridiculous. It's like just like an episode of that show I was telling about Scooby-Doo with the Shaggy and the Scooby. It's like we live it now in real life only with Dylan and Waggy solving mysteries instead, yes? How will I ever repay the two of you for helping me? This was so great. Well... I know there's one way you can repay us for sure. What do you say, Dylan? Yeah, I think it's time. Pizza Hub, got your pizza, dude. Dylan and Waggy Waggy do, where are you? It's time to solve a mystery. Put the junk food down. And get to work, or else the world is history.